Rebecca. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we're back again and today we're going to be doing a bit of recycling and um, we're going to be recycling bottle tops and I can show you what you can do with plastic bottle tops. So it's whiz time. I'll have a quick whiz round and show you what we've got. So I've got a, an assortment of plastic bottle tops here. They're all washed. Any uh, silver foil or insides and stuff has been taken out and they're all ready to start. Now to prepare them, you will need some craft knives. So health and safety notice here adults only with the craft knives please yeah, can be dangerous yeah and obviously be careful and make sure that they're sharp because if they're blunt it's not going to work so well so safety notice yeah. there well, can we just mention we're back in the house today yeah we're back in the house today right. because um the weather's it, not the weather's not so nice now is it no, the weather's not so nice and we sprung a leak. Yes. So we've had to move back in. But we will be fixing the leak. Yes, it's not a big leak. No. It's more of a mini leak. Yeah. Um once it's sorted we will be back in our <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. He has to steal the limelight, <laughs> doesn't he? Can I carry on now? Yes. Thank you. I just thought I mentioned our view our um our watchers that uh, viewers love viewers, viewers. <laughs> okay so after that little interlude i shall show you how to prep your bottle tops and then i will show you what you can do with each piece so your milk bottle tops all you do is you take your craft knife I'll start with one of these and you very carefully make a little hole cut round right you might move your hand yeah. slightly out of the way that's it you need to see yeah. where you're cutting it so I've scored it round first and then very carefully cut round. Now, as you can see, this is a very sharp knife, so it's cutting quite easily. It's not going to be a perfect circle, that doesn't matter. So you'll end up with that and that. Okay. So that's your milk bottle tops. These fizzy pop bottles, you would do the same. But it's slightly thicker plastic, so... Would you need an adult to do that, the cutting, uh, rather yes, than the child? Um, or... Yes, it's adults only, this bit. Um, I wouldn't... That's going to be quite sharp, aren't they? Yeah, and the blade is better if it's sharp. As you can see, there's quite a lot of work with that one, so I'll leave that one. Now, these ones are deodorant or antiperspirant or body spray sort of bottles. And again, you'd score round and then cut the middles out these are nice because they're all sorts of different colors so you can uh, sort of do what you like oh, we're getting them we're getting them we're getting them good right and then you just cut round Right, so so you end up with that, and you have a little bit like that. Now I would 
just check to make sure all the edges are smooth these ones are and these ones are and then if you they're a bit rough you can rub, rub them down a little bit with a emery board or something and that will make them smooth so let's put that away and shut it up so so you'll end up with the milk bottle tops with these two bits okay so the first bit i'm going to show you to use is this outer bit and i'm going to show you what i've been making with these and i'm actually using these you can stitch them together and make chains like this and i'll show you how to do that um and i'm going to use these as a cafe sort of curtain to hide a load of junk which my husband will be very pleased about won't you really he will so as you can see i've been busily getting on so to make these you will need some scraps of wool and some rings like and a thick needle can you pause it a minute please lovely so what you will need is some like I said wool scraps and a wool needle like that this one's got quite a sharp point on it because this is what you want but a wool needle so what you do this is very fluffy wool this is the kind of wool that looks really nice but is a real pain in the backside to work with so this is actually quite a good way to use it up so i'm just going to measure out a bit So as you can see, I'm doing it double. And if you want to come in close, Dave, and I can show you. So you basically now you don't have to use wool for this. You could use string. You could use ribbon. Um, the thin curling ribbon is actually quite good for this or um, floristry ribbon or you could use thick cotton like um, bits but any cheap balls of wool that you get in shops that end with the word land and everything costs only a hundred pennies mm. land. <laughs> that's the one you can get yeah. you know three balls of wool for a quid or whatever this kind of thing is perfect if you get some rainbow wool and then you can do this kind of thing so so that's how you do the covering it's like a blanket stitch so these are the whole rings but you do need something to link them together so I'll show you the next stage so that's how you start that one off and you do the same style with these white rings that I've done but the ring you slit like that so you cut down the side and then using your sharp needle you push through two holes so you have a hole either end like that 
and you do your blanket stitch round like I've done here but before you finish you loop it round like that and then you sew up that end and then but before you sew up the end you can do another whole ring round like that and then you've got your chain so how I would do it and how I've been doing it is I do a whole load of these whole rings cover them and I just link them together with one of those and cover it while they're all linked and you end up with a chain like that and as I said you can use ribbon you can use string you can use whatever you like and that's how you make the chains you could even make them for decorations um, and because it's plastic and if you use string you could use some outside and maybe wind some string lights around and then you've got some outdoor lights so there's lots of options there so that is what to do with your little outsides now these bits you can make badges with these or even little medallions or the say the straw curtains out of plastic straws that we made the other day you can use these as the beads that go in between so for these i'll just give you a quick whiz round what i have here so i have some flower petals so you could make a flower badge or a bead I have some pom-poms like this so you could if you wanted to well that one's a bit big so make a little creature